Okay, now that we have the direction for the induced current here, we're going to go ahead and calculate the magnitude since they give us some parameters here. So we should write down Faraday's law um, in the full form here, which is that minus d phi dt here gives us the induced EMF. We want that in terms of a current, so we're going to use Ohm's law. That's just going to be I times R. So I times R is going to give us d phi dt. The minus sign we're ignoring because uh, we already had the direction taken care of here. So the question is, how fast is the flux changing? I should probably write out the flux is just B dot A. And since the magnetic field isn't actually changing, what's changing is the area. So the change in flux is just going to be uh, the constant magnetic field times the rate of change of the area with respect to time. Well, if I label these, and they have been labeled the, the height here, x up and down, and the width here is called L, then the area is L times H, and the height there is what's changing. So it's L times dH dt. How fast is that height changing? Well, just at the velocity that the bar is moving down. So we can go ahead and put numbers in there and get the answer of 6 meters per second, which is correct.